Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for checking out another video. Today's video is going to be my A5 wide plan with me um, for the week of. That is a great question and one I don't know the answer to. We'll see shortly. <laughs> Um, it's my first Halloween spread. Um, this, I'm using this kit from Scribble Prints Co, which I thought was a good transition from um, like spring to Halloween, which is a very hard transition to do. Um, but I think it's kind of Halloween enough, but without being in your face. So I thought it was perfect. Um, I also thought I would take the chance to do a get to know me tag. Um, I'm actually doing the same one that Lindsay Morgan plans on her YouTube channel did. And doing it the same way in that she was like, no one tagged me. I just wanted to do it. So same thing here. I don't really care about tagging or not. Um, I saw it. I liked it. Um, I got the idea from her. Um, so go check out her channel if you haven't already. Um, and I am just going to do it. So I'll do that when I go through the base. And then once we do, like we go into the plans, I'll kind of go back to normal and talk through that. But I just thought it'd be something different. So hopefully you guys enjoy Okay, so um, I'll maybe put a link or I'll put the questions down below so you can see, but I'm just reading them from, I took a screenshot of her video and I'm reading them from there. So there's personal ones and then there's planner ones, but they kind of seem to mix a little bit. So I'll start with personal. Um, oh, that copper wiggle that I'm using is so beautiful. <laughs> um, I stole it from the August Mystery um, kit I don't necessarily use the wiggles that came with the kit I just thought it would be perfect for this spread so that's what I'm using but anyway back to the question starting the questions so the first one is did you or do you go to school if so for what um so I I'm currently in uni or as it is in Australia it's not really called college um for I study marketing and I study online because I work full-time and a part-time job so I can't go into uni not that you would be able to anyway at the moment. Um, but I have previously studied two other degrees and I didn't finish either of them because I wasn't interested. So um, I'm hoping I can stick to it and finish this one. Um, if you went to school, what was your favourite class? Um, I would say just marketing in general. It seems to be the thing I'm most interested in. Um, favourite food is definitely pasta. Any different type of pasta, like that's it, I need it. Um, favorite drink so non-alcoholic is vanilla coke it's absolutely my weakness I drink way too much of it but I can't stop and won't stop um, an alcoholic is pink gin um, if you haven't tried it get on it it's the best <laughs> seriously um, I don't know if you guys have Gordon's in the states but if you do get on it it's the best um, favorite coffee drink so I am not really a coffee I drink iced coffee um, but I am a Starbucks ice chai. That's my ride or die. Um, and unfortunately, given we're in lockdown at the moment, there is not a Starbucks within five kilometers of me. So I am very much missing my ice chai because no one else can do it. No coffee shop, McDonald's, nowhere else can do a fucking ice chai. It is so frustrating. But anyway, I drink iced coffee. Favorite color is orange. Um, it used to be pink pretty much all I can remember growing up but now it's orange see favorite sticker paper is the next one but I feel like that's a planner question but anyway it's in the personal so um glossy don't even don't come at me with anything else I am glossy that's it an event that helped build you see that's a little deep for me um this is a planner video and I just don't really need to I would say probably COVID if I had to say something um I really, I could have sat there and wallowed in my self-pity because I think my life has been affected more than a lot of people. Um, but instead I used it to turn around, to turn, I, bleh, I used it and turn it around so that I started studying online. Um, I got another job and I got all my finances together um, and I've actually started, not started because I've always saved, but I've started investing um and just like improve my financial literacy. So I would say COVID, which is a bit of a cop out at the moment, but I'm going to go with that. Um, I'm going to skip the next one because it's a serendipitous moment. Something that happened that you didn't want to happen, but ended up being for the best. I'm just going to say COVID. I absolutely don't want it to happen. And I don't think it's for the best, but you know, something good did come out of it. 
If you could get all your subscribers in one room, what would you say? Well, I would say to all 29 of you, <laughs> thank you. Um, this is just something that I do because I'm bored at the moment working from home. Um, so thank you for wanting to listen. It makes me happy that I can talk to people. It's I just, I like that. Um, and also please comment on my videos. Not Absolutely not because I need interaction, but actually because I want to hear from you. I want to talk to you. Or message me on Instagram if you don't want to give me interaction. That's fine. I don't mind. Um, but I'd love it to be like a two-way conversation, not just one all the time. Favourite show? Yellowstone, without question. Um, pfft, I don't watch TV, but Yellowstone absolutely nailed it. You, if you have not watched it, I'm telling you, you need to. It is the best show. I've never finished three seasons so fast in my life. And now we'd have to wait for the fourth season until 2021, which is killing me. Um, but it gives you guys a perfect chance to watch and catch up because it is the best show I've ever seen. Um, biggest fear? Snails. I fucking hate snails and I'm scared of them. I, I can't explain. It's one of those irrational fears, but snails for sure. How accurate? This is another planner question. How accurate is your planner slash are you always as productive as your plans seem? Well, I use my planner as a memory planner. So um, <laughs> sometimes I do a planning Kalo and I just throw something in there that didn't happen because I needed space or I couldn't actually remember what happened. But most of the time, like 90% of the time, it's accurate. Um, in my plan ahead planner, um, I only put in what is happening. Like I work the same days every week and I have an assessment due, for example. So yes, I would say I am like my, I don't lie in my planner. Um, the next question, what intimidates you about the community? Honestly, nothing. Like I know there's been talk and actually Lindsay mentioned it in her um, plan with me that she's a bit uncomfortable with some of the like clicks and, you know, feeling not left out, but you know, there's definitely like clicks and that sort of thing. But for me, I really don't care. If people want to be in a click, like, it doesn't faze me. I do this as a hobby because I love it. I share it with people because that's what I like to do. Um, do I roll my eyes sometimes at some things? Yes, absolutely. But I wouldn't say I'm intimidated. I share what I want to share and I don't share what I don't want to share. I think if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen some of my stories. I think I tell it like it is. Like, if I'm not happy with something, I'll say it. Or if I'm feeling a certain way, I'll say it. Um, I mean, if you don't like it, don't follow me. So I wouldn't say I'm intimidated by the community. That's just, yeah, personally. Your strengths and weaknesses. Um, this one is interesting and a tough question. I think I would say that I do tell it like it is, is a strength and a weakness. And I know some people are like, oh, I tell it like it is, but they're actually just rude. I don't think that I'm rude. Um, obviously, it's hard to know, but I think, yeah, it's a strength and a weakness because some people can get a bit taken aback by it when really I just, I don't care for the bullshit. Like, just, just spare me. <laughs> Tell it like it is. Um, I think I'm, f like, extremely loyal. If you, like, if we're friends or if, like, I know you or whatever, like, I'm extremely loyal and will back you up no matter what um weaknesses I don't know it sounds really bad that I can't think of a weakness but I have them I just it's not something I can think of um I don't know that's a hard question best childhood memory I think in general is just like going on holiday I was very lucky um to be taken on multiple overseas holiday like we pretty much went on alternating years we'd go within Australia and then international so I've been to the states like almost 10 times um which it's 14 hours on a plane to get to the closest American city so that's a fair way um and like going on holidays to Queensland and you know to the beach and yeah so I think just in general I was very lucky to go on lots of holidays favorite movie I'm going to be really cliche and say Twilight Saga. Like, it's not, but I hate movies. So, like, I just, I, know, I love the books and I could literally recite the movies. If you just turn the, turn the sound off, I could recite it for you. Um, 
other than that, I feel like there's a key one that I'm like can't think of that I'm missing. Um, the Lovely Bones. I, I know, don't come for me. The book is better. Trust me, I'm fully aware. But when I just, when I'm sad and I need just that like crying, like I just need to let it out. There's nothing like The Lovely Bones. Like that just is the perfect book, uh, movie for that. Um, I feel like there's something really obvious that I'm missing and I'm going to be like, uh, Emma, you're an idiot. But in general, I'm just not really a movie or TV person. So this isn't in there, but fun fact about me. I will enjoy a movie or a TV series a thousand times more if I know the ending, which drives my partner and probably you insane. But I literally will sometimes only watch a show or a movie, especially if Troy is trying to get me to watch something. I'll make him tell me what happens or I'll look it up and then I'll enjoy it so much more. Like I've always been like that. I can't explain it. I don't know why. But I just, that's how I am. I need to know what's happening and then I think I can like understand it more. So, but I'm just in general, not like a TV or movie person. So I'd go with Twilight Saga. Sorry, don't hate me. Which TV subscription do you use the most? Um, again, I'm not really into TV, but definitely Netflix because I watch Forensic Files all the time. That's pretty much all I watch. <laughs> now that Yellowstone is finished, um, Forensic Files, so Netflix. Other YouTube channel genres you watch. Um, I used to be really into the beauty community um, and into like makeup and I still love makeup and I'm really into it. I'm not into the beauty community, however. I think it's childish and petty and ridiculous what they are doing. Right, I think that's pretty much everyone. I used to be a huge Jaclyn Hill fan. Um, obviously, you know, there's lots of drama there. I can proudly say I was never a fan of Jeffree Star. He's a racist asshole. Um, I don't care how good his products are. I've never used them. I don't care how good they are. If you defend him, unfollow me. Um, I don't like James Charles. Like, I just... It's become this just drama cesspit and I'm just not interested. So I still follow a few from that community, but I don't watch them anymore. Um, I watch a, not a couple. I watch one um, fashion YouTuber um, and then I my, pretty much the rest of my subscription is gaming. Um, you probably know if you watch my plan with me is that I'm into gaming, um, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch pc so pretty much all of my youtube is gamers um and same with twitch i watch a few of them on twitch uh, excuse me but that's yeah pretty much planning and gaming is my two big um thing oh and then also i, I will follow a few photographers so um it's kind of hard at the moment to be into photography because i can't leave the house but i am like I'm quite into photography so there's a few that i follow pretty religiously um, but yeah, that's pretty much my YouTube subscription. Um, and then the last question on the personal one is a quote that you live by. And I'm, I'm not into that. I don't follow quotes. I think that's dumb. Sorry. Um, but something I do live by is like, I do think everything happens for a reason. And like, not in the like cheesy, like, uh, like, I don't know. It's more just like. I believe that there's a plan and that there's fate or destiny. That sounds so gross. But just, like, I do believe that things happen, like, you can't change the course of some things. It's just, it's going to happen, like, I, that's, and you have to deal with it. It's about how you deal with it, not, like, carrying on about the fact that it happened, if that makes sense. I know that's not a quote, but just in general, like, just, yeah things happen for a reason they're in the plan and you just got to go with it so that's all of the personal questions I feel like I just talked very quickly for 15 minutes so hopefully you took all of that in um and then moving on to the planner questions there's actually not too many of those so maybe I'll talk a little bit slower <laughs> oh okay this one I probably should have done first um what is your name, age, and how long have you been planning? Like, that makes more sense to, to do first. So, my apologies. My name is Emma. You've probably guessed that from the name of my channel and my Instagram. I'm 24, 25 in March. Um, and I've been planning... So, in 2015, when I... No. 2014, when I started uni, 
I remember watching um, Nicole Guerrero, who is from back in my beauty guru days. You might know her. She still does amazing Halloween makeup. I love her. But anyway, um, she had an Erin Condren life planner. And I remember just being like, I want that. I love that. It's so cool. Um, And I remember I saved the video and I had it in my save videos for like a year. Um, But I that year I was at uni so I ended up buying a like Kiki K and using that and I tried to make it like um this is stickers were not really a thing then it was more just like trying to make your shit pretty um but it just the Kiki K never worked for me so I used that all through that 2015 at uni no 2014 I used that and then in 2015 um I finally gave in and ordered an Erin Condren um so I obviously ordered it like at launch like in May I remember I used to watch <laughs> so embarrassing like I think I watched a hundred ever Erin Condren life planner unboxings as I waited for mine to come from back then they took like a month to come now they come in like a week but from the states to Australia and I literally watched I reckon a hundred EC unboxing videos like I don't know why I I knew exactly what every page looked like but I literally watched a hundred of them and I watched them over and over and over again um and then I got my first planner which is very much coming back to the long way to answer the question but um my first EC was in the 2015 year um so June I started I've always been a Ju- oh, sorry July to June planner um and then I pretty much did my own thing for I reckon about 10 months like till March the next year I did my own thing like I made stickers or I went to like local craft shops and bought stickers and that sort of thing and then I discovered like shops like SPC was the first shop I ever shopped from and then probably a year later Glam Planner opened and um, that was kind of when I was in the community and when I made an Instagram and that sort of thing so probably I started planning Oh, that's the next question. Sorry. How long have you been planning? So 2014 officially, but in my EC 2015. And then I was introduced to the community probably 2015. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. So those are the first two questions. First planner you discovered. Okay, I just answered the next question. Um, Kiki K. And then, because obviously that that was an Australian store um, that I could go into in person. And then Erin Condren. Okay, I also just answered the next question. The first sticker shop you purchased from um, was Scribble Prints Co. No, it wasn't. I tell a lie. I always think it was. I purchased from Made by Alyssa, which is an Australian store, and I don't think she's still open. And I bought, um, like, full box checklists, and they were, like, colour matched to the colours of the EC, and I just thought that was the most amazing thing ever. So I remember my first ever month that I bought was September, and they were, like, purple. She did purple and grey. And then I also bought October and they were orange and brown. And I was just like, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Like I was, I was so in love. And then I ordered from another shop, another Australian shop, which I honestly is really bad, but I can't remember the name of. Um, something with Fable in the name, I think. And that was my first ever kit. Um, she did like themed like full boxes and half boxes and that sort of thing. And then in the next the the March or the April I remember being like okay I can't wait any longer I'm gonna spend 20 bucks on shipping and 30 US dollars on a kit from Screw Prince Co which went down that rabbit hole so um and I remember my first ever SPC kit was the July 2016 which used to do like the hello July and it was the watercolor because the glitter one was too much for me so I bought the the watercolor and I bought the 4th of July so those were the first sticker shops I purchased from. Preferred planning style. Um, well, now it's like white space. It used to be no white space. And now I look back at that and it gives me heart palpitations. Like how did I ever... I used to write on like full boxes and like, oh, no thanks. Um, now it's white space. I, it's white space, but like there's not much white space. But I don't use bougie boxes. So it's not some white space, if you know what I mean. It's like some white space, but without the bougie boxes because they're way too expensive. <sighs> First planning channels you found. Um, I honestly don't remember. I would say the first one I remember is SPC. Is like Andrea. Um, I remember she did plan with me. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then I found Kirsten from Kirsten Plans and she was still using, I think, is it the, 
mm, like that old, I don't know, passion planner maybe. I don't know. It never took off here in Australia. It was a different planner. And I found her and I went back and watched every single one of her videos, like just like a crazy person. And then obviously I've followed her ever since. But I would say SP or Andrea and then Kirsten. Trends you've committed to the most. Um, I'm a little, little bit of a trend follower, if I'm being honest. Um, so pretty much everything. Um, I probably committed a little too hard to TNs when they're absolutely not my thing and I hate them. But I spent way too much money on Foxy Fix and I still have them here. And I don't get me wrong, I love the planners. They are beautiful. I just don't have anything to use them for. Like, I just, I don't know. So I probably, I've committed to a lot of trends, but that's probably the one I regret the most. Um, yeah, like, once everyone stopped using the Erin Condor and, like, I stopped using it. Once everyone went to White Space, I did White Space. Like, I'm a bit of a trend follower, a bit of a sheep. But, yeah, I don't know. Trends you wish would come back. Now, this is an interesting one. Um, I don't know if this is, this is kind of like meta, I guess, but like, just not, <laughs> it sounds ridiculous because of what I just said, how I'm a sheep, but I think not being a sheep, like there's certain people and I'm sure everyone knows who they are. I'm not going to name them that as soon as they do something, everyone else has to do it. And it's just like, can we get a little bit of originality? Like it, there's one shop in particular that is great. She makes ever she comes out with all these new ideas and is very it has been the most innovative in the whole community, I would say. And then within a month, everyone's doing the same shit as her. Like, can we just get some originality? I get that there's not that many ways we can go, but I feel like the same shop sets all the trends. And good on her because, as I said, she's business ten out of ten sets the trends and everyone follows. But why, why aren't we doing other stuff? Why isn't other shops stepping up? Or, and I guess that's not really fair because it's consumer-based as well. But, yeah, I don't know. So, in general, trends, I wish... That's not really something I wish would come back. But I just wish that maybe trends would stop being so trendy. People would kind of do their own thing a little bit. And it kind of sounds harsh, but whatever. That's how I feel. I'm trying to think of one thing that I wish would actually come back. Um... Honestly, don't know. I really like the time when B6 was big, and that's probably because I have a B6 planner now and I kind of missed the trend. <laughs> but I just really loved the size, and I loved when shops and, you know, people were doing B6 plan with me. It's like, obviously, I do them, but I don't really see people doing them anymore. I don't know. Maybe that would be it, but, yeah. I guess, in general, I just wish we'd stop being so trendy. Um, what does your family or significant other feel about you playing with stickers and planning? Um, Troy is super supportive, like it has always been, it, he's always commenting on, you know, how I can improve my Instagram or ideas or, um, helping me out with photos or videos. Now he's really helpful, um, on how I can improve my videos and encourage me to, like I, when I first started filming a month ago, I was using my phone and I had a paper background. And since I'm now using my camera, tripod and a proper board so already in a month like I've been I feel like I've improved I hope you guys feel the same um, but a lot of that comes from him he's been super yeah he's always been supportive as like it's your hobby you love it like do it you do you like it's amazing and he like has always been interested in seeing my spreads and he's always looking at my Instagram and yeah like just ten like you couldn't ask for anything more um Mum has always been into crafting and scrapbooking. Like she's a massive scrapbooker, so she kind of knows this is my version of scrapbooking and is, is always interested and she loves that I have a silhouette and that I can make stickers. <laughs> she always wants me to make more stickers, so she loves that. Um, but, yeah, she's super into it. My brother, um, he was actually someone who helped me a lot when I first started planning um, and I was going to, like, local craft stores and, and $2 shops trying to find stickers. He was always there with me. And Washi, when he used to actually use Washi in spreads, he would drive all over the state with me um, and, like, be super excited when we found stuff. So, um, and Dad has no idea, but that's Dad. But overall, everyone is, is great. Um, 
everyone is super supportive so they understand that it's this is my hobby this is what I love doing um friends don't really know about it to be honest um I kind of feel a bit awkward about friends knowing I don't know why but yeah family definitely I, I guess I've just answered the next question as well do your friends slash family watch your planning videos slash follow your account well, you just heard my answer. Troy follows my Instagram and my YouTube um, and always offers help. Um, and no one else in my family really has social media. So no. Um, but Troy watches my videos and likes all my photos. Um, and then if you could shop from only one sticker shop, I'm assuming like like it forever, which shop would it be? Um, this one's pretty easy and I'm sure you're going to guess it. Um, for me, it's Glam Planner. And that is because I can get everything that I need for planning in at her shop I can get kits obviously her format's my favorite I can get foil um she does foil script she does overlay she does date numbers she does um overlays for specific kits like any foil that you can think of she does like um a special foil bundles like anything you can think of she does it that way um, she does character stickers, so she does inserts, like literally anything that I could want, um, just multicolor, like Glam Planner, bleh, Glam Planner sells it. Um, you probably think I'm biased because I have a PR code with her, but I, I've loved her literally since the day she, like I was around when she opened, so, and I used her first ever kit, um, so, but it would definitely be Glam Planner. I just think that, um... Yeah, anything I could need is her, is from her. I would obviously miss um, some... I My second shop, I reckon, would be Sticker Guru, which is a new... I know it doesn't say what's your second option, but I'm going to give you it anyway. Sticker Guru. Um, a new-to-me shop, but one that I am just obsessed with. She also offers everything, monthly, weekly, foil, um, the site, like, kit formats that I use. Look, like, literally everything... And I just, I love that sort of shop. So number one would be Glam Planner. Number two would be Sticker Guru. And I would absolutely be <laughs> devastated and missing Monique Plans. And mm, to an extent, Scroll Prince Co. But only Monique Plans because she does all my foil. Um, but yeah, and that's actually the end of the challenge. It's all the tag, not challenge. What am I saying? Ugh, it's not hard to sit here and answer <laughs> questions. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Just a little bit of it. Um sort of get to know me I guess and if you guys know of any more of these like I'd be happy to do it I actually enjoy sort of talking about um this I guess it's kind of fun to yeah just answer some questions and you guys get to hear me ramble which is like my favorite thing to do on this channel which you've probably noticed um I'm a rambler so yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this different style of um voiceover um if you have let me know in the comments and as I said I'd love to hear if you've got any more suggestions um, and I'll swap back over to the normal planning now. So it's me again, and I'm back with the more like normal voiceover, I guess, like planning specific. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that last little bit. So what I'm doing now is my work, like marking work. So I'm doing, I've really been liking using the flags and cutting like because there's something that I normally don't use in a mini kit and I kind of feel like I just waste this whole page and I end up trying to pull things from you know leftovers or from multicolor whereas using this I actually get to use like what's in the kit and I really like that and especially for something like this kit which I don't think I would ever find these colors like they are so unique maybe the pink but even then it's a real like different pink so um yeah like it's good to get to use the cut the kit and I wouldn't be able to match it anyway so I'm just putting the flags down to make sure they don't match like the glitter header um as you guys know I always do that I don't like to see them matching so um yeah I'm working six six shifts this week so my five normal shifts my five full-time shifts and then um one on Saturday um, someone who was off on leave has come back so they don't need me on a Tuesday anymore which is kind of frustrating because I've gotten used to that money <laughs> but it also is not nice to not have to go to work because I do work a lot um, so yeah just using all and that's another thing I like about using the flags 
um, there's seven of them, which is normally the maximum amount of shifts that I'll do. Um, and then next to that, I'm just using the work scripts that I've just um, recently picked up from Planner Choco. And I got all of my scripts from her in black, which means I can use them with anything. And like, they're so cheap. They're like $1.15 when she puts them on sale or $1.75. Um, and you got get quite a few on a sheet considering they're under $2. Um, but yeah, I'm super glad I got them in black um, because I can just use them with anything and I don't have to worry about running out of one foil or another like it's just all the same so um, I already have a cart full like for my next order I'm just waiting on um, I've put in a few orders this week so I'm waiting till next week but I will definitely be reordering from her um, yeah I love her stuff I really have been enjoying it so just putting those work scripts down now so next I'm just putting in my main events, if you will, of the week. So it was my best friend's birth, well it is my best friend's birthday on Friday. So I put that in with a happy birthday script. Um, I decided I didn't want to use, I didn't want to bring in any other foil. So I do have like foiled happy birthdays, but only in like gold, silver, rose gold, hollow. And I just didn't want to clash metals. I really loved the copper and wanted it to speak for itself. So if I don't have the script in black, then I'm just writing everything in for this week. Um, so I use the happy birthday script and then I will write Maddie and put a character sticker. Um, I then also have my, I just realized I only put one assessment box in there, but I actually have two assessments due this week. So I'll go in and put another box for my, or maybe I'll just do like two times assessments or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, and then just like I wanted an exclamation mark but they come in glam planners kits not SPC so I just did like the I don't think it's actually an asterisk but that's what it looks like to me so um, yeah just to mark like important and then I'm putting in my classes um, so I'm sorry I study online I've got one in the morning and one at night so I pretty much put them space them apart um and I normally do something after that lecture because it's at 7 p.m so I'll put it so I can fit like a label or a little thing underneath um and then again I'm using my black scripts from Planner Choco which as you can see I'm getting a lot of use out of um and they're just the perfect size when I first got them I was thinking oh geez these are a little bit small but I actually think they're the perfect size like look how good that looks I don't need a character sticker I don't need a foil like a foil um foiled anything it's just easy they just fit perfectly so yeah i'm really happy with um her stuff so just zooming out so you can get a look and a wiggle um that's the base um, you can't really see, the, you can see a little bit there, the copper foil, um, and I'll be back with the day by day. It is now about a week later, probably a little bit longer, and I am here for the day by day. So I've got my pages in front of me and I'll run through everything. So first of all, um, I'm just working out my spacing because I had a few things to mark on Monday, probably a few, Oh no, I guess it's not that many. I think I actually ended up leaving some stuff off because it just wasn't working. So I had a few things to mark. So first things first is I used this half box, this rounded half box, rest in peace. <laughs> Why do the mini kits have to not have rounded half boxes anymore? <sighs> anyway, rounded half box um, and a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that I started working on my assessment. Um, and I don't normally get to use these massive ones, so when I can, I try and use them. Um, and I used it in this one, even though I marked my assessment multiple times, because this is when I actually sat down and got started, which is probably the hardest bit. And then I used this appointment label and a film um, like icon, the cutout icon from the Wiggle, um, to mark filming, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> I still need to get some film... Um, scripts. Um, I'm probably going to get them from Planner Choco, I think, on her next $2 Tuesday. So I just like the plain black. It's just easy. Um, so I'll probably get that and I'll get like film edit upload. But I definitely mark filming the most out of all of them. So then I realized that I have the um, half cut headers to use. So I kind of peeled things up a little bit. Um, but I used those all the way through as well. Um, I used a 
Stella Bow, Sticker Co, flat lay um, to mark planning. And then I go back at the end of the video, you'll see, and I put a planning time script from the wiggle as well. Then I used a, is it a strip of washi or a little, I think it's a little thing, um, and a Coffee Monsters Co icon to mark playing Warzone. And then at the bottom, I used a fancy, that mint fancy label and a stack of books, which I use these for both school and for reading. Um, and I used a black script from Planet Choco to mark that I was reading that night. Um, I pretty much read this whole week, but when I, I don't know, sometimes I put it in, sometimes I didn't. It's, I don't know what the differentiating factor is, but yeah, sometimes it went in, sometimes it didn't. So then I'm just going back and filling um, the writing in for the week. I struggled to kind of fit what I needed to in that box because the um, character sticker was so big, but I just shortened it and I think it looks okay. So moving on to Tuesday, um, I decided that I didn't want to bring in, so I used copper for this kit and I decided I didn't want to bring in any other foil so I could have used a gold script for example but I decided I just wanted to make the copper stand out so if it wasn't copper I wasn't using it um so I only used the scripts from the wiggle and unfortunately the wiggle script says Starbucks run which I mean we don't all have Starbucks especially in Australia um they're mostly in the major cities and the major shopping centers they're not on every street corner like they are in the states so i would prefer if that said coffee run i think that'd be a bit more um generic but anyway so i just wrote it in i used the i think it's actually no i think that's iced coffee from the food doodles um and then i just wrote in coffee run um i don't always get coffee so when i do i do mark it um and then i put a third box which is my favorite size and i was going to use i'd pulled out another um, laptop Coffee Monsters Co emoji, but as you saw, it just looks stupid. They was right next to each other, so I decided to use um, a laptop icon from the kit to mark um, just working on my assessment. I did a lot of that this week because I had two assessments due. Then moving down, um, I used a half box, which RIP, I'm not going to be okay without that's not a half box, it's a quarter box without rounded quarter boxes they're my favorite that and squared third boxes are my two favorite things so I'm very sad for the rounded quarter box to go but I use that to mark um playing full guys with a what is that a playstation controller is the word I'm looking for from Stella Bow um, and I'm definitely going to have to restock on those very soon because I only have a few colours left and I use them all the time. Um, under that, I used a, what is that called? An appointment label um, and a switch, again, from Stella Bow. Um, I have plenty of the switches left, but not the PlayStation controllers. So um, a switch um, to mark that I was essentially playing more video games. Um, it's kind of all I did <laughs> today or that day is just play video games because I didn't have much work to do. Um, but And throughout the whole day, I just had a headache that would not go away. I mean, are we surprised? All I did was work on my assessment and play video games. So let's try and wonder where that headache came from, Emma. I wonder. Um, but it wasn't fun. So I just marked it at the end of the day because I literally couldn't get rid of it all day. I was just there in the background and when I'm filming this um, I also have had a headache all yesterday and all today so um, great days. Then moving on to Wednesday is my uni day so I put down a fancy label and a black online class script from Planet Choco um, and then I used a what is it half box but it was too big so I cut it to make like a third box um, because I know that I'll run out of third boxes so I cut it in half um, and used another Stella Bow, what is it called? Switch um, to mark playing Fall Guys. Um, I've been playing a lot of Fall Guys recently. Um, the new update came out, which you'll see. But I don't know, it's just like a fun game just to like, just do something different and take your mind off things. So if you haven't tried it, it's on play PS4 and I think maybe PC, but definitely PS4. So give it a go. 
Um, and then after that, I filmed a foil D stash, which is probably going to go up before this, actually, I reckon. Um, like a foil, I filmed my collection and then at the same time I D stashed and I actually got rid of so much stuff. It was kind of scary. Um, but you'll have to watch to see what I got rid of. Then I, um, long story, I went and picked up my brother from a walk that he was on. Um, and then I had an, another online class. So I have one in the morning, one in the evening. Um, and then to finish off after the class, I just watched YouTube, um, which good on me. I've cut it off. You can't see my bad, <laughs> but under that, it's just like a, the mint little thing. And I used a TV icon from the kit to mark watching YouTube. Um, and again, I could have used a script if it was a different week, but I just decided I wanted to keep it to black and copper only. Um, so that's what I did. And actually, I'm really happy overall that I did that because the copper just looks so good. And it's just copper and black. There's no other stuff. So, oh, I did move it down so you can see how nice of me. Um, then swapping pages and moving on to Thursday. Um, oh, look at that wiggle. That's the benefit of just doing copper. That was just so nice. Um, so then on Thursday, I've since I've been working from home, I've pretty much permitted myself to... Um, one naughty lunch a week so one meal that I like from takeaway or something so um it was on Thursday I gave in um and I had Nando's which Nando's peri peri chips are my absolute weakness <laughs> they're just my favorite and they're ones that don't make me sick which is great helpful we love so I just marked that with a fork and spoon icon from the kit uh, from the wiggle sorry um because i mean i it's funny i eat nando's for chips but any chip character stickers or anything is like mcdonald's chips which i don't like so i just used the food oh i probably should have used the um takeout one but anyway then surprise surprise played more full guys and i just used an animal crossing peach to mark that because the colors matched and I was sick of using Switch icons, even though it's on PlayStation, but you know the drill. Um, then I worked on my assessment. So I just cut a half box in half um, because it was too big and I didn't want it that big, but I still wanted to use it. So that's my little trick for you. Give it a go if you have boxes that are too big. Just cut them in half and stick them on top of each other. And then I used that same Coffee Monsters Co. Um, what is it? character sticker on the laptop and then <laughs> the next one's a little dramatic I used a actual quarter box to an a once more with love sticker that's like crying like in a pool of tears because I finished breaking dawn from Edward's point of view um which I was very sad about because I don't know I've just like really enjoyed going back and reading it and I was just sad to finish it because now this happens every time I finish. I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to read. And like, <laughs> it's really embarrassing. But um, yeah, so I just was like, oh, but I do it to myself. I read like 400 pages in one night because I wanted to finish. And then I get sad that I finish, like my own fault. And then um, I used the money bags icon because I spent lots of money at Sticker Guru on her $2 Tuesday, which what is new, honestly, what is new? So Moving on to Friday, um, it was my best friend's birthday, so I used the cake um, food doodle to mark that with the happy birthday script, and then I just wrote in um, Maddie, and then um, it was the Fall Guys update, which they brought out all new content, which was really exciting. We'd been waiting a while for that, so um, I popped that in um, with a another Animal Crossing sticker, this is Isabel, but again, the colours match, so I just went with it, even though Animal Crossing has nothing to do with <laughs> Fall Guys, but I guess, no, I mean, you wear outfits and stuff, and you dress up in Fall Guys when you play, so we'll just say someone was dressing up as Isabel, <laughs> it's a bit of a reach, but whatever, we'll go with it, um, so yeah, the update's been really cool, just like, brings new life to the game that you've been we've been playing so much so yeah enjoyed that um and then after the afternoon was just kind of thrown in disarray because my pop got taken to hospital he 
like had a medical episode and we weren't sure what was going on and yeah it was just like lots of unknown and stress so I was kind of not very um I didn't do much in the afternoon let's say because my mind was elsewhere and I just used I knew I had um doctor or nurse stickers but I couldn't find them so I ended up using this scientist and I cut off the it's got like a glass like a beaker with like green stuff in it and I'm like that looks dumb so I cut it off so instead he looks like he's holding like a vial of blood or something um and then I found my doctor's stickers but I was too happy with my little surgery so I kept it and then I used an appointment label with a pizza food doodle to mark Domino's Domino's is the only pizza that I eat aside from like authentic Italian um Domino's is the best I don't want I don't care what anyone says the local pizza joint is rubbish Domino's is thick no Domino's cheesy crust is the best fight me and then I used a fancy label and a football from Stella Bow to watch um watching the footy there was a final on so the whole family kind of watched that and then on to Saturday um kind of the ritual on a Saturday is I work and then in my where I work there's a Nando's in the same center so we get Nando's and bring that home and it's kind of our cheat day lunch um so I just use the fries to mark that because as I mentioned before I get the fries or chips as they're called here we don't call them fries um and then we had a house inspection which I used a house from Stella Bow um, we actually really loved this house, but unfortunately the next day um, we got a message saying that someone else had put an offer in um, and we can't get into the bank to finalise things until next week. So, yeah, um, I mean, it might fall through and we might be able to put an offer in, but at this stage we're kind of treating it as though we missed out, which is disappointing, but that's kind of the housing market, unfortunately. Then we had an impromptu movie night because we were watching something else and it was a sporting game and the team, my team, fell apart. So we changed the channel very quickly um, and we watched Jumanji, which we both hadn't seen before. The um, the new one with like The Rock and Kevin Hart and stuff, Jack Black. Um, it was actually good. I'm really not a movie person and it takes a lot for me to enjoy a movie, but I actually did enjoy it. I thought it was quite good. So... We watched that and then I used the like tired Coffee Monsters Co sticker because we watched YouTube um, in bed. We just like had an early night and yeah, it was like, as I said, normally I would do a YouTube script, but again, I'm just keeping it to black and copper. So I just wrote it in um, and that sticker was actually from like the bottom washi. It's like the extra piece that you get on the label sampler. Um, it works for an extra box, so that's what I used it for. And then I finally got to use this black appointment label, which, I mean, it's kind of hard to write on this because it's so dark. Like, you, if you write on it, you can't see. So I kept it for something that I was going to use a script on, um, which was sleep in. So I used a mint pillow from Stella Bow. Like, if you haven't noticed, all of my multicolor stuff is from Stella Bow. And then I used the copper sleep in script, um, which looks great. S excuse me. So I wish I could have used more of the scripts, but they're just not really relevant to me. So I can kind of use a couple. Like, there's one work on there, for example. Like, who works once a week? That's fine if you do, but it's just not, like, I'm sure most people don't work just once a week. And like barbecue, it's, I don't know, there's just like a lot on there that I don't really think is generic enough, so I only end up using a couple and then I just have to get rid of the rest, so like obviously I keep them for next time I use copper, but I still won't use those scripts, so anyway, then um, the game that we play um, is coming out in November um, and they had the beta, so um, everyone could jump on and, and give it a go so um, we were playing that and I used the PlayStation controller again um, I enjoyed using mint in this um, spread because I don't normally get to use mint so I had definitely had mint and then we watched Coach Carter um, on Sunday night so I just used rather than writing it in I just wrote movie night because um, I wanted to use the script and just used a icon from the um, kit and then 
I used a appointment, no, that's a fancy label, um, and I pulled out this massive pizza script. We made homemade pizza, and I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to put it in the middle. I don't need to write it. We know what it means. And then at the bottom, I used a half quarter box um, and the like asterisk to mark that I had two assessments due. Um, and then I think now, yeah, so I'm just adding that planning time script onto the flat layer which I mentioned before um, and then I'm going in and doing the weekend banner um, oh I actually put the payday in as well even though I get paid twice I just marked my main payday um, the weekend banner I put in the middle which I stole from Samantha Plans um, I love that idea so when I can I do it and then I'm just getting all my wiggle together to see what I've got left um, and then as you can see there I grabbed the deco bits which to be honest I find these more trouble than they're worth they look great but I just do not have time to sit there and it takes me forever so I just I only did one row and then I gave up I mean as I said they look great but I just I can't be bothered I'm too <laughs> lazy so I just went with two rows uh one row sorry and then I went over to the sidebar and filled in my two boxes um, well, I hope that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I did next. Let's have a little looky. Yes. Um, so I just wrote uni week four, which again, I would have used a script, but I just wrote it in um, with a Coffee Monsters Co. laptop emoji. And then up the top, I just wrote the two, like the main games that we were playing, um, like had the new updates. So we were playing those as you saw in the spread um, and I just used, I couldn't be bothered pulling out a character sticker so I just used a bow um, from the, what's it called, from the wiggle. So just to kind of pull in as much foil as I could and I was really just being lazy and I didn't want to do it. So yeah, just mark that um, and that is pretty much the spread. I'll zoom out in a second so you can see it and I'll do a wiggle, but I'm really happy that I stuck to my guns and just did copper and I'm also really happy that I decided to pull in copper for this because I really was unsure. I was going to use rose gold um, and I'm just, I'm really happy. Sorry about that. That was my work computer. Um, I'm just really happy that I stuck with copper. I just think it looks great it's just ugh, it looks so good with this um the, yeah I just love it I got nothing else to say um this is what I have left so I actually don't have too much of the kit I have a couple of like boxes from the label sampler I'm actually glad I bought two because as you can see um I definitely used all of like the smaller labels and then that's the wiggle so look how beautiful that copper is um, and then that is everything. So thank you for checking out another video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.